Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial of Ventus Technology. Today I want to show you how to build a simple and quick application with interaction with the help of Ventus and we will use some ready to use user interface elements for that and just add some touch nodes and I will show you how to connect them to get the functionality of them. To get started we will now use our user interface elements and add them to the scene. So first we can add the frame which is just the frame and has no interaction functionality. We can use an axis to just adjust its position and rotation a little so it looks maybe a little bit more interesting. So next comes our paint canvas. We will render it in front of our frame. We can again add an axis so we will scale it a little up so we can have some space for our user interface elements on the left side. So now we can add our reset button. We will take it in front of the axis and add another one for the reset button and adjust its position again. Next we will use our size slider. We can add it in here and again add an axis to it. So this is all we have of our user interface elements. Yeah, now we will get started and add the touch interaction nodes to it. So basically we have three functions that we want to use in our application. We have a painting canvas, so we can paint with our touches on this little canvas right here. And we have a slider to affect the size of our brush of, of the canvas. And we have a reset button to reset the whole canvas and start all over again. So let's go inside the paint canvas container and we will see that it only consists of the canvas shadow which is down here as you can see and the rectangle which is the canvas itself. So add a touch paint node to it and you can see that you can draw on the surface of the whole screen. You will have to turn off the screen aligned boolean to change this and now we can see how it affects the drawing. So can change the color a little and the problem right now is that we can't see the canvas anymore so we will have to draw it again before we draw the texture on the invisible rectangle so that's all about it. The next thing we will have to do is add a touch button to the reset button and connect its touch event to the reset method of our touch paint node and we will have to add a touch translation to our slider here so we can affect the size by the position of our slider. So this is what we will do next. So now let's add a size slider so we can use the slider to adjust the size of our paint brush. Let's take a look inside in here. So we have a slider over here which is our rectangle the boundaries of our slider which are the arrows in here and some effects for example the shadow and the glow effect that we can add while we are pressing the slider which is a nice effect for the user. What we need now is a touch translation node which is down here and add it in front of the slider so we can now drag around our slider rectangle. The only problem is that we can also drag it around to the x-axis so we will have to turn the limits on and change our max x and min x values. So now we can only drag it on the y-axis and we will have to adjust our values again so it fits into the boundaries of our touch slider. The only thing that we will need now is a clipping node we will have a minimum input of 2.5, a maximum in input of 2.5 and our output values will range from 1 to 100 because that is the size of our paintbrush. Now we can connect the input to our Y position of our slider and expose the value of our clipping node. Also expose the size of our touch paint node which is by now 25% and now we can just connect everything together. So now you will always get the 
set the size according to the position of our slider. For example, this is really big and this will be a little smaller. So next thing is that we will need to implement this reset button so we can reset the whole canvas and start all over again. This is our next step. So we can use a touch button node and put it in front of our reset button. We can take a look inside it. It's just a rectangle with the same effects like the slider and the texture and the material and that's all about it. So we can now expose the reset property of our touch paint node and bind it to our single tab property of the reset button. That's all about it. Now we can reset our canvas by simply pressing the reset button. The only thing we can re implement now is the glow effect that I just mentioned before. So yeah, now let's see how it all looks on the touch screen and try out our functionality of our interaction scene. So this is what we got in the end. We have this touch panel and the canvas on it and we can just paint around like this and change the size a little or change it back again or reset the whole canvas of course. I hope you got an idea of how easy it is to apply interaction nodes to an existing user interface and how easy it is to build an interaction application in Ventus. I hope I will see you next time and until then bye.